Hello everyone and today we will go, we'll going to discuss about how to design a single layer PCB designing in LTM designer from scratch and for the single layer PCB designing I am going to design a 5 volt 5 ampere power supply uh, using a XL4015 IC. So this uh, this particular series contains a three part the in first part we will going to discuss about the schematic designing. So let's start the schematic designing but before the schematic design what you need you need every libraries uh, for that part, uh, like different types of component in the circuit right so what you need to do you need to just uh, download those library I have put uh, the links in the description but if you are like trying with different circuits then and finding any problem to download the library then I have uh, like told the a method or how to download a library from online available sources so just uh, I have al also put that link over the description so just go through this so let's start the schematic design so what you need to do, you need to just uh, uh, open the LTM designer and uh, just uh, follow my cursor and right click over the screen here. There is an option which is the PCB project, just click on that. Now right click, uh, uh, another right click over that PCB project and there is an option which is the add new to project. So here I am adding a schematic design. Now just right click again over that project and uh, just go to that uh, add new to project and there is an option which is the PCB just click on that so we have successfully created a, P a PCB uh, project in which we have added a schematic sheet as well as the PCB layout sheet okay so what you need to do next you need to just right click again and you need to see save that project so I, I, I want to save that project in my desktop so here I will create a folder which is a 5 volt 5 ampere and uh, also I name this particular uh, PCB doc file is uh, 5 volt power supply okay. save and for schematic file we need to like put the same name 5 volt power supply right. and this is the PCB project we have created name like uh, put the same name here also So we have successfully created the project. What we need to next, do next, we need to just click on the five uh, like schematic doc file. Just click here. So the schematic page will pop up. So here we need to uh, design the particular circuit. Okay. So I have already downloaded the data sheet of this component. So just go to the uh, desktop like where I have put this. Yeah, this is. A. So this is the data sheet of this component. and uh, the circuit is uh, here so we need to design that circuit so i've already downloaded all the li uh, libraries for these like uh, the polar capacitor the ceramic capacitor the xl4015 diode and inductors and the register that we are using so in case of 5 volt we need to connect 10k and 3.3k register right so we need to design that circuit over the ltm designer so here what we will do next we will do li install the libraries what uh, so, so uh, let's start the install the library. Just click on the library here. So, uh, like start with the uh, from scratch. What we need to do? We need to just go to the library tab. There is an uh, option which is the library. Just click on that. There is an another option which is the install. So, when you click over is the install, there will two option will there. Install from file and install from vault. We need to click on the install from file. Okay. Just go to the where where you have downloaded the like all the libraries so in my case uh, first we are we, we are going to download we'll, we are going to install the one microfarad ceramic dial library right so just go there and uh, i have successfully created the library so go any of the folder so you need to select only the pcb library file and the schematic library file and open it right its name is gmr okay, yeah so this is the capacitor you need to place here so we need to just go to the every folder uh, in the library section and install those libraries right so 
So we have uh, successfully installed all the six components here, as you can see in the screen. So there is the polar capacitor, the resistor, sorry, the ceramic capacitor, resistor, polar capacitor, diode, inductor, as well as our 5 volt, 5 ampere IC. Okay. So what you, uh, there is a problem in the IC. So just look into the data sheet. So there is a VIN at pin number one, and like there is a the designators error uh, in this particular symbol. So what we need to do, we need to just edit the the pins of those sim, uh, this particular symbol, and tally it with the data sheet. So there is VIN at pin number five, output at uh, pin number three, feedback at pin number two, right? So we need to just edit those symbols. So just what you need to do, you need to just double click this symbol. And there is an option, just follow my cursor, the edit pins. Just click on that. So a window will open. So here we need to change the designator here. Just follow my cursor. So we add pin number 5. Just uh, click on that and press 5 here. And uh, the output I add pin number uh, 3. 3. And uh, the ground add pin number 1. And uh, the feedback is at pin number uh, two. The feedback is at pin number two. And uh, the VC has pin number four. So what you, you need to do, you need to just like there is a V in here, and uh, SD is VC here. And uh, output is SB here. So VC is at upper pin number four. Yeah. So I think everything is fine here. V in at pin number five, ground at pin number one, V in at five, ground at pin number one, feedback at two, output at three, and VC at four. Okay. So now everything is okay. Just click on OK button. Yeah. So everything is changed. So what we'll do here? We'll just uh, like arrange those uh, components and uh, start the uh, connections here. Okay, so just uh, we'll place the component as uh, same as in the circuit, as in the given circuit, right? So like we need a polar capacitor here. So what we'll do? We'll just place IC in the middle of the and like shift that those components slide bit uh, upward. Okay, so just select the polar capacitor. By uh, selecting this polar capacitor, and when we place the, press the uh, like space bar, so it will rotate the uh, component. Okay, so we'll just place it vertically here. Okay, the next component is the uh, the ceramic capacitor. Just put here and press the space bar to rotate it. Okay, so just we need an another ceramic capacitor. The control C and control V. Yeah, so we we just create another ceramic capacitor here. And what we need to do, we need to just uh, uh, place the diode here. So the N uh, side of the diode is upward. And uh, we need to place the inductor there. Yeah. And just go to the circuit. So we have placed the capacitors, diode, inductor. So we need an another ceramic and polar capacitor. So we'll just copy this ceramic capacitor here, like this. and. Uh, Copy the polar capacitor and control C, control V, like this. And we need a re two registers here. So just rotate this register. Click over there. By that we can rotate it. And uh, just copy this register and paste it. Yeah. So we have successfully created all the components. Just select all the components and uh, like little bit shift. Uh, the left side okay so we have uh, created all the components and uh, like uh, we have created a like a particular circuit so what we'll do we'll just uh, double click every of the component and we'll uh, assign a designator as well as the value of this component okay so double click over the component so this is the c1 and the value of this uh, uh, capacitor is uh, 220 microfarad c2 the value is one microfarad. C three. The value is one microfarad. 
just rename it like Q1 and it is Excel 4015. This is the L1. This is 47 micro Henry. This is the D1. This is the C4. Its value is 1 microfarad. C5. 220 microfarad. This is the R1. Its value is 10k. R2, its value is 3.3k. Okay, so here we'll put like uh, 3k3 uh, rather than 3.3k because uh, it is not visible uh, when we'll go for like uh, component placement or something, right? When will it will uh, just print over the manufactured PCB? So there is a point, and so there is a slightly problem at the time of component placement. Okay, so that's why I'll put 3k3 here. So it means 3.3 uh, kilo ohm. Okay. So we have renamed all the component. We'll place the designator and the value of each and every component. What we'll do next? We'll just uh, uh, do the wiring part. So there is an option in the top. Uh, like there are lots of uh, tools and uh, the components there. So you need to just follow my cursor and uh, place. There is an option which is place wire. Just click on that. So like when uh, there is a pointer in our cursor. So when we'll uh, just go to that, uh, the pin of that particular component, the pointer will become red. So that means we are at uh, pin position. You need to just click here and uh, there's a wire. Uh, so by clicking that, we can trace any wire from there, okay? So just uh, by by clicking uh, anywhere, we can just put the direction in this wire. So at when we go to the, like, uh, the another pin of the component, it will become uh, red again, okay? So by clicking there, we just made a connection between the C1 and C2. Okay, so just click the over the wire and uh, place wire, and we can easily make connection like this. Okay, so just go to the circuit. Okay, so it is connected here. And we need to connect it from pin 4. So just rotate it like this so that we can make connection easily pin 4 and uh, the next connection is the ground ground is here okay Sorry. Okay, so we have made uh, a connection. So we need to connect the IC also, right? So we have connected the pin four. And we need to connect the pin five, which is the B in. From here, so B in is here. Like this. Activate the extra wire. And uh, now we need to connect the feedback and the SB pin. Okay. Yeah. So we have made the connections, all the connections successfully. Just uh, tally it once so that uh, like it can't cause any kind of error in the layout designing. Okay. Yeah. 
so our connection is perfect now what we'll do we'll just uh, like assign the comment and everything so that it uh, it will uh, like our uh, schematic design will become very uh, easy to modify or uh, it will become very easy to understand also right so just save uh, first and uh, there's an option in this uh, particular uh, the tab over there so what you to do you need to just click on that just follow my cursor and there's a option like place text string okay just click on that so by clicking like we can easily place the string and by double clicking we can edit this okay so there is a 5 volt 5 ampere power supply just change the color like i'll like for heading i'll uh, always prefer the red color and uh, by changing the font uh, like by if you want to increase the size of the font or the font style then you have to go to the font section and uh, i'll prefer 20 or 22 for that so okay so we have successfully created a title for this particular uh, schematic file and uh, just copy this title control c control v and by spacebar like we can easily control the rotation of this title so this is our vin pin okay this is the vin just copy the vin paste right and uh, this is the v output just double click and we can change the name of this particular thing okay so we have successfully created the uh, schematic design so in the next tutorial we'll going to discuss about uh, how to design the com uh, like how to uh, place the components over the particular board and how to uh, customize the dimension of the board okay so thank you so much